Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So today is the first day of the DIY open hardware ESC. It's going to be a Bale Heli SESC. Now I've been wanting to do this for quite a while and I've just been just never really had the motivation to just completely just start on it basically until last night actually. Last night I found a user called AlkaM on RC Groups who's created a couple of ESCs. Really awesome guy. He's created a couple of cool things and there's one ESC that is running a Bale Heli S software or firmware and is running with a mosfet driver which is pretty important however last night i was basically searching on my phone and i was i just got very excited i couldn't wait to come the next day so i can just get started on it and i was really hoping it was going to be really just smooth sailing from here and just modifying it but i was kind of wrong and right at the same time in a way so let's talk about why here so one thing he likes to do is he likes to use components that are easy to solder. So the BB2 chip has more pins and it's not the exact one that we're used to, which is the smaller one. So that's one thing that's a bit different. Also, the FET driver is very important and it's different. He's using a different FET driver because he could not find the FD6288. Now this FET driver you will find everywhere this one have you ever seen it before it's on the airbots it's on the cheap escs you find this version of it on the cheap escs it's everywhere so i want to stick to something that's everywhere because this way it'll make it very universal and we can understand more however he said he couldn't find it to purchase but now it's available to purchase but when you go look at the data sheet it's all in chinese and it's not very helpful and it's the only schematic you get to kind of give you an idea of how to set this up now, I had to basically go dig around the shop and find every single ESC I can that is a BL Heli S and a BL Heli 32 and see which ones use it. And to my surprise, every single one used it. Every single one that I have here in the shop actually uses that. And a huge shout out to our sponsor, PCB Way. Now, to order from PCB Way is absolutely easy. All you got to do is put the dimensions of the board. Choose how many boards you'd like. You can leave these all as default. And then all you got to do is calculate. And that'll calculate the cost. So it's going to cost us five bucks for 10 of these. Add to cart. It'll take you to your order page. Upload. Submit order. And then you just got to wait. So after a couple of hours digging in into those ESCs, I finally figured out how this, this chip is actually working. It's not fully ready yet, but this is the, let's just say a skeleton uh, schematic for this chip. This is the, the same chip, the FET driver that all of our ESCs have. And you know, you'll, you'll know, you'll find a diode and a capacitor next to each other, at least three of them by the phase always. And you'll see that later on. I'll show you what I mean in a later video. And then here we have the resistors with that, you know, go along with the FET driver here that dictate the delay time. Now the delay time, I can't really explain that to you just yet because I personally don't fully understand it just yet. But once I give it more time, once I hit that step, then I'll be able to explain everything for you. Now you might say, okay, what's the benefit of this? First of all, we'll understand how an ESC works. That's what's going to be really nice. I can relay all that information back to you. Second is you'll be able to modify your existing ESC to run higher voltage and to make it into a premium ESC, but you'll have to, I mean, not in terms of noise, you'll add a low ESR capacitor for that, but you'll be able to change out the MOSFETs, uh, possibly if needed a couple resistors and a firmware, which is these six resistors here, because those are ones that dictate the time. And then you change out your uh, firmware and then you should be basically kind of good to go theoretically here from what I understand. And obviously as time goes on, I'll understand more and more and we'll actually try this out. So right now I'm basically 60% done, but the schematic in front of you is 30% done because I have everything on a piece of paper and I'm just confirming everything on my piece of paper before I bring it in to the official schematic because I just don't want to keep modifying and editing it. Now my Patreons get full access to this schematic as it updates whenever I save it. So yeah, if you're a Patreon, just message me, I'll add you into the teams list and then you can go ahead and just uh, watch everything and even modify and use it, which is going to be pretty cool if you wanted to do that. Now. Another thing is I'm planning on creating breakout boards. So a breakout board is basically just a PCB where I solder a BB2 chip and every single pin is going to be broken out to a pad. So I can, you know, modify or understand how something is working or kind of keep it modular and test out things with the oscilloscope and just see if I got everything right and seeing what firmwares do out on the BL Heli S software or firmware. And the same thing I'm going to do with the uh, FET driver here, the, the, the one that's being used everywhere, which is this one here. As you can tell, this one. I'm going to make two boards, one for this one and one for this one. This one's found on the low budget ESCs. It's the same chip, but this one's cheaper. This one's around like 50 cents. I don't know if this one's really $5, but I highly doubt it. 
uh if i really look for it probably it's not five bucks but yeah i'm gonna do two breakout boards for that do the same thing also uh every pin in out into a pad so we can uh so we can debug and try out different things and i'll probably do like some module you know a separate another module for mosfets so we can test out different mosfets and uh, resistors i think it'll be really interesting uh so it'll be a really fun experiment pro it'll be a really fun experimentation so uh, i think it's going to be pretty cool so we can test out different resistor values different fats stress test them try to blow one up and i think it'll be pretty cool it'll be pretty interesting so that is the current plan right now i think this will be i think i'll probably have my first prototype in my hand by monday that is uh my, i'm hoping before that so i'm hoping if i finish the schematic uh tonight but i highly doubt it because i'm getting really tired right now it's very late um i think i'll probably have the schematic done towards the end of the week and towards monday i'll probably have the pcb or friday thursday hopefully i'll have a pcb done maybe i don't know yet but i'm almost there all i need to do now is figure out where the back emf goes to does it go to both fet and the bb2 chip or just the bb2 chip so that's what i'm trying to figure out right now it's not as easy as it might seem to be kind of unless i'm uh, i'm just getting too tired right now but probably i'll sleep on it in the morning i'll figure it out but if anyone has some, any information that would be absolutely useful i need all the info i can get just to save me some time uh but either way i'll have it done it's just uh yeah if you could help me that'd be super cool also this project will be sponsored by pcbway which means that they'll provide the boards for me uh just because i wouldn't have been able to do it without them it'll be way too expensive every time i make a mistake have to reorder and reorder and reorder they're really nice that they just keep providing and anyone who wants to collaborate you also can get free boards from them uh just contact me and i can just tell them and then they'll send you and also my patreons i'll send you for anyone who's interested in this stuff just let me know uh message me and uh, i'm more active on patreon now so if if you want a board let me know and when i have them ready or one that's actually working uh i can send those over as well to you and obviously patreons have access to all of this as well here uh before everybody else even the prototypes that have not been released to the public yet you guys get exclusivity it's the least i can do um so yeah if anyone wants to help me out or has any ideas or has some knowledge that'd be super great come join me on the discord i'll open a special uh page for that or you can also post in the forum as well i'll be posting some of these things on my forum uh step by step i do have someone a good good friend of mine actually working with me on the forum now who's who's a lot of knowledge and uh, if anyone needs help you can go to the forum as well and we also have a discord so if you want to go ahead and join that and well that's the current update guys let me know what you guys think are you guys interested in this i'm gonna relay all the information i learned back to you this is kind of just like a first video of the progress of the uh, open hardware Bill Heli S uh, firmware. Huge shout out to Alka M though. Uh, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have had the motivation to start. Even though I can't really use this, but I thought I was going to come here and be able to use it. But he just gave me the push. And uh, yeah, huge shout out. You should definitely check out some of his things also. That's It's just pretty cool here. And well, that's it, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.